everybody, Aaron here. We are working through our book 10 tabs for Claw Hammer Ukulele, and today we're up to Rock That Cradle Lucy. Um, I really like this uh, tune or song, and uh, I also learned it on my baritone ukulele. It's one of my favorites. So in this uh, arrangement, we are playing in the key of F, and I don't pr push my finger down here for any of this F stuff. I leave it open. I like what it sounds like to have the open G in, my, uh, in the key of F when I play these tunes. So that's just my preference. I like how it sounds. Hear me out and give it a whirl. So we've already got um, a performance video of this up here on YouTube. This will just be me playing it slow and giving you some tips. So here we go. So yeah, I think it sounds nice with the open fourth string. And notice that in this song, half the time it's a C chord anyway, and that note fits the C chord perfectly. Um, so it's just been a habit of mine to play my F tunes like that. So let's check out the crooked parts. Um, second measure, we have note, note, brush thumb, note. Usually the brush thumbs fall on beat two or beat four. Here I've got it on beat three. It's just the way the melody lies, and it gives a little syncopated crookedness in that second bar that I really like. So from the beginning, So, note, note, brush thumb, note. It's just a little crooked, but I like it. Second line, we've got these double thumbs. And remember, a double thumb can come in anytime we've got lots of melody notes with nothing to do in between them. So we've got three thumb, three thumb, oh, three. But we could put a thumb in between all four if we wanted. It's just up to you. You can add those later on if you want. Then in the second half of the piece, we've got this little hammer-on bit at the end. And uh, I know the first hammer-on is pretty normal. Second one is an off-string hammer-on, though. That's where I play the first string and hammer on the second string. And for some of you, it's not very loud, but it will come in practice. Very common in old-time banjo music to have hammer-ons on strings you're not currently plucking. Um, it's just part of the style. It's how we get all the melody notes out. Do that again. Yeah, and so generally I've got this as my home base position for all the F stuff, and then I have to move away from it for the C stuff, and then back to here for the F. If you have any questions about this arrangement, um, and uh, and if you have any comments about the book or you just want to be in touch, uh, drop me a line in the comments and uh, let's talk about it. Cheers.